I've always been interested in the symbiotic relationship of double acts, whether it be Abbott and Costello, Mortimer Wise, or the road movies of uh, Bob Hope and Bing Crosby. Um, and making this film, I was thinking about the films of uh, Orson Welles, the early work of Carl Reed and Alfred Hitchcock. And visually, I was thinking of the paintings of uh, Edward Hopper. So we had a budget of 3,000 euros. We uh, shot the film in one day. It was a quick turnaround. And we brought in a gifted new director of photography in Stephen C. Walsh. The two things that mostly come up when people watch the film is the works of the Coen brothers and the playwright Harold Pinter. This is me first film. Um, the entry point is two barbers, two customers, one briefcase and no loose ends. Black Steam Films was set up in late 2015 to make sharp, stylish pictures with a nod to the golden age of Hollywood. Mark. Slide eight, take one. Action. The idea for the film came through the location, which is the Waldorf Barbershop in Westmoreland Street in Dublin. Any time I've gone in there, I feel like I'm going through a time slip to the 1940s. You feel like anything could happen. So I thought of an event, and the event is a murder. Well, Anthony's written a very sort of enigmatic character, and uh, he's, he's, he's somewhere high up on a chain of command. Welcome, Mr. Costa. The script actually leaves far more questions than you'll ever get answers for. Because I, I think it's a little bit like the sort of the Becky Pinter thing, where you said, like, you know, you know, you know did they deliberately leave all these interesting um, sort of questions for the audience to figure out? So Lewis is the head barber, and uh, we find out more information about him as the movie goes on. So yeah, my character's name is Hardy. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's a bit of an innocent. He's a bit kind of lighter than Lewis. He's his assistant barber in the barbershop. I think when I got to the Sato script, it was really brilliant. I thought it was great little nuggets in it, little uh, funny moments and kind of little comedy within this very dark story. Cut. 